Welcome to our physics review. Uh, this is a, this will be our second lesson on motion of a pendulum. This time, instead of solving for the period of the pendulum, we're going to be solving for the length. So the problem states, uh, what is the length of a simple pendulum whose period is one second? Okay, so uh, notice again, this problem doesn't give much information, and again, we don't need much information to solve for this problem. If we're given the period, uh, t, all, the only other variable is our length. We know gravity, and of course we know what 2 times pi is. So, let's go ahead and begin to solve for this equation. Uh, the period, sorry about that, the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Okay, and so I'm going to replace a few things in here. First of all, again, I'm going to note that gravity in this case is going to be equal to 10 meters per second squared. Normally it's 9.8, but for ease of calculation, I'm going to do 10. Okay, and uh, so we'll replace gravity here with that, with 10. And uh, we're given the period right here. The period is one second, so we'll go ahead and replace the period as well with one. Okay, so uh, now that we've replaced those variables, uh, what I'm going to do is begin to solve for this. And let me draw my square root a little better so it's not confusing for everybody. There, this whole thing is under that square root. Okay, so to begin to solve uh, for this length here, this is an L, not a one, by the way. Uh, to, to begin solving for this length, what we need to do is first divide both sides by 2 pi. Okay, and on the right side, 2 pi is going to cancel and we'll be left with this variable right here. So let's rewrite it uh, over here. 1 over 2 pi is equal to the square root of the length over 10. Okay, now if you square both sides, if you square both sides, I'll get rid of the square root on this side, which is what we're trying to do. And we'll be left with uh, 1 over 4 pi squared is equal to the length over 10. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 10. And what that does for us is it cancels 10 out on this side. And all we're left with is what we're looking for which again is the length. We're trying to find the length of the problem. So let's go ahead and finish solving for this. Uh, 10, 10 over 4 pi squared is equal to the length. And if we do on our calculator, uh, we'll get the value. And after typing that in on our calculator, we get a value, uh, the length is, gives us a value of 0 0.253 meters. Now I told you this was a fairly simple problem, and it is. Uh, for example, this is, the only, this is all the solution for it, and we came up with a length of 0 0.25 meters, which is our final answer, and that concludes this problem.